Hello everyone and welcome back. So tonight we're going to be doing a tutorial for Scolopendra Dehani Malaysian Cherry Red. Now you can use my tutorial for the Dehani for the Cherry Red, um, but I wanted to do something a little fancier for my personal Cherry Red setup. So what we're basically doing here is we're going to mimic um, an area where I know these to be collected in, in Malaysia. Um, so, it's going to kind of be like a tropical um, hillside, let's say. So, let's get right to the tutorial, and uh, I'll explain what we're going to do here. So, of course, since this is tropical, we do high ventilation. Um, in all my tropical setups, I personally recommend doing super high ventilation. Um, you might have to mist a little more often if you do do the higher ventilation than low ventilation, but your animals are going to live longer and you're going to have less problems, trust me. Um, so, anyways, we got this one uh, done up. I got this neat little hole punch now with a measure on it so I can do these even holes, which is really nice. My last few holes were kind of messy, uh, but this one looks really nice. Anyway, let's keep going here. I'll explain what we're going to do for uh, substrate and all that for terrain. So uh, let me pull out the substrate here. So we got a couple kinds of substrate here. We got our big thing of peat. That's going to cover most of the bottom and give us a little bit of our angle for the hill. Um, and then we got a sand and peat mixture. Very little bit of peat here and a decent bit of sand there. Um, this is going to be for a uh, sort of, let's say, pathway um, up the incline of the uh, hill here. So. Um, I'll go ahead and start getting some of this mixed up and I'll go on to the next bit and uh, explain what we're going to do for debris in the enclosure. Obviously this is hillside. We're going to need ourselves some decent sized rocks. I've picked these specific shapes to uh, aid in the uh, design that I have in my head, but you can make this of course a little different if you want to. Um, just, you know, base it off of whatever's going to work for you. Uh, but then we got some more stuff that we're going to put in there as well. We got bark, of course. That's essential for most enclosures. And since we're doing kind of a forested hillside, uh, we're going to get some bark in there too. So, let's see what else. Alright, we got some leaves here and then we got some other forest floor debris. Um, we're going to use two different kinds and we have them separated because we're going to use them in two different areas. Gravel, of course, because we need some, you know, extra floor debris for aesthetics. And some uh, sheet sphagnum moss. So, we're going to use that just to really uh, brighten up the enclosure. Now, the Malaysian Cherry Red, being a Dehani, um, is a rather venomous centipede. Um, it actually is much more powerful than your run-of-the-mill Vietnamese giant um, Dehani, which are very strong as far as venom goes, I'm not going to lie, um, but these guys are definitely stronger than a typical Dehani. Um, but they get really big. Uh, they're very, very gorgeous centipede. Um, the red is really amazing on them. Um, they do tend to be really flighty um, and somewhat aggressive as far as a uh, centipede species goes. So you got to be careful with these ones. Um, you know, always uh, do uh, safe rehousing practices and all that. Have them in a uh, tub, in a bigger tub, and you know. Just be careful. Anyways, uh, let's start getting the enclosure put together and uh, see what he thinks about it when we're done. Now first in this enclosure, since I'm doing kind of a hillside setup, I want to incorporate, incorporate excuse me, a uh, wooden wall, if you would, that it can walk on, as well as a, a little bit of rock wall here, um, and then a, a large mossy looking rock, um, because there is, you know, a lot of uh, moss and stuff like lichen and whatnot growing on rocks in its native range, and we're trying to do this more of a uh, naturalistic setup, you know. Um, also, we're keeping a little cavity back here. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but what that's for is it's going to be covered up with a piece of moss that fits evenly along the back here. Um, and it's going to keep a gap in the side where it will 
allow the centipede to hide and since it is such an easy place to get to the centipede will tend to go for that um, but anyways let's go ahead and put our second layer which is going to be our substrate layer and uh, get that going okay so I got my primary layer in this stabilizes the rock and the bark and the, the other rock um, and it makes the little hillside we have here going all the way up into a lower elevation right here so now let's add the secondary uh, substrate now the secondary substrate is going to be a sand with a little teeny bit of peat in it it's going to be a little bit drier it's going to run down here and then for aesthetics we're going to make sort of a little pathway here. Um, so let's go ahead and get this all mixed up and then I'll put it in there for you guys and show you what it looks like. Now we got our secondary substrate in there. That's going to be that sand peat mixture. It runs all the way up to mid elevation, low elevation here, higher of course ascending here. And so now we're going to go ahead and start putting the uh, larger debris in here. So let's do that. I've went ahead and added another large rock on the side here. It kind of goes up a little. Um, it can also dig under there. It's not very deep on the lower area here. It does ascend an elevation a little bit there. Um, and then we have some bark. There is room underneath this piece of bark. It can go right there. And so we've added that and that goes upward on the hill. So now we're going to add some leaf litter. I've only added a little bit to begin with on this one side. As I had told you before, we have two different kinds of leaf litter. So I have the more lowland leaf litter right here. Um, now, we're going to need to add some moss in a couple sections here, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, now we've added the moss. And as you can see, I've left a very small hole for it to get to that hide area we had talked about earlier down here. Um, so, if you look, we got the incline going pretty decent there. The top's up there. So, that's it right there. That's the change in elevation. And now, for aesthetic purposes, we're going to add some gravel in here along the ridge. Alright, now we got that gravel added in all along there. And down the hill, up the pathway. So, this area down here is never ever ever going to get misted. This is going to stay dry for the Malaysian cherry red down here. Um, the upper areas you can go ahead and mist and the bark as well, but again, this is your dry zone, so never ever ever miss that. Miss this area right here only. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, it looks like we're pretty much done here. We're going to add one more layer of the uh, leaf litter. That's that other kind of leaf litter. And then we're going to introduce the centipede. Alright, and that's it. This is our finished enclosure. So now all that's left to do is get the cherry red in here. I think it came out pretty nice. Um, better than I was expecting in my head. It looks really good. Um, so let's go ahead and put the cherry red in there and see how he likes it. Or she. This one's a female. Oh, it's not comfortable yet. Let's turn it around. Well, I went to turn it around and it ran down my arm and went right in. And it seems to have found itself a place to hide already behind my bark. Well, you can't really see it back there, but it's back there. Um, anyways, I'll go ahead and let it get settled in. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this tutorial uh, helpful or entertaining. Um, and, you know, you can make your own take on this. You don't have to do it exactly like this. I'm sure you won't because you can't find exact rocks and everything. Um, but, yeah, uh, again, like, subscribe, share this video anywhere you can. Um, go check me out on Instagram. I post a lot of cool content, a lot of pictures and stuff. Um, and we'll see you next time on the next tutorial or video that I put on here. Um, I appreciate all your support. And you guys have an absolutely wonderful evening.